Welcome to episode 19 of G Hello's Beer Reviews. I've got a very special one today. I will be reviewing Chimay Grand Reserve. So Chimay Blue. Blue Cap it's also referred to as well. This is a Trappist beer, which means it's brewed by Trappist monks, uh, which is a Catholic order of monks um, in this particular monastery in uh, Belgium. So it comes in a 750 milliliter bottle. Um, and it's, it comes in at 9% ABV, so alcohol by volume. Uh, great looking beer, I've, and great looking bottle. Uh, as you can see, the top is a cork, which is something different, and it really um, looks intriguing. Uh, so <laughs> it's another selling point for it, I think. Um, for this, it's recommended that it's, it's served at 10 to 12 degrees Celsius, which they describe as cellar. Uh, temperature. So I've only had it in the fridge just for a little bit just to give it a little bit extra chill because I think it was a little bit warmer than that. But um, I have had this beer before on tap in particular and it is a remarkable beer. It high, it scores very highly on um, Rate Beer and Beer Advocate. I think got got 100 on, on Rate Beer. So without further delay, let's crack this one open. Uh, this is a little bit different than the twist tops or the oh, nice smoke there. You probably see that. It smells great. All right, I've got this good glass here for this type of beer. You see the head just comes right up. Looks great. I'll just let that settle for a bit. And you can see the head's very active. Um, it's a little bit difficult to pour for the camera because it's a heavy bottle and it's a, a big bottle. But um, So I think the head was forced there a little bit too much, but it's coming down. Um, as for the color, yeah, it's a brown caramel color. Uh, very carbonated. Uh, see, very small uh, bubbles, but very carbonated. You can just see your fingers through it. Um, but yeah, it's a... It's a sort of a burgundy caramel color. Looks really good. I'll just top up a little bit more before I have a taste test. A massive amount of head there. But these always serve with uh, quite a large head as it is. Uh, as for the head, it's a very creamy, sort of brown head, light brown colored head. As for the smell, You've got those yeasty smells coming straight through. Yeah, really good. Bit of citrus there. Yeah, you definitely got the, the citrus uh, coming through. I think it's... I think it's maybe coriander, I'd imagine. Mm, seeing it's a Belgium beer. Mm, something of that nature. I'll just top this up, then we'll have a sip. Okay. All right, that looks great. All right, now for the taste test, the most important part. Cheers. Wow, that is a good beer. That is a good beer. <laughs> what can I say? Words almost don't just describe how good this is. I'll have to have another sip of... Yeah, the, the yeasty taste there with the bready malts and a slight hint of citrus. It's not as much as you'd expect something like Hogarden or another uh, Belgian style of uh, wheat beer, but... Um, or this type of beer, but... Um, yeah, the citrus is just there with a nice little bit of bitterness. Um, and a very dry finish actually quite a dry finish which is nice it's very pleasant as for the nine percent alcohol by volume um, you wouldn't suspect that like it doesn't overbear it's not overpowering with the uh, the alcohol as some beers that are high in ABV can be um, just a very very good beer another sip Wow 
yeah, this is remarkable. Unbelievable. Very good. As I said, I've had it in tap before, on tap before, um, but never out of the bottle. Uh, but yeah, just as good as I remember it. I, you know, these monks, our brothers in Christ, I tell you, they they know how to brew a beer. Um, centuries of practice, but yeah, they're, they're very good at it. And um, yeah, this is a remarkable beer. I, I can't say much more about it in, in the essence that it's just really good. Um, as for those flavors that I said before, yeah, they're all there. The maltiness, the yeast of the beer with a slight citrus taste and a very dry finish, which is nice. Um, yeah, very re remarkable, remarkable. Just one more sip and I'll give it a score. Oh. All right, straight up, I couldn't give it any less. What would I give Chimay Grand Reserve? I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Remarkable beer. Excellent. If you've never had it before, grab it. I gave Hogarden a 10 out of 10. If I could give this more than 10 out of 10, I probably would, but that's my score limit. So it's a high 10 out of 10, or as a fellow beer tuber, Jez says, I'll give it a 10 plus. He uses the ABC, so I'll give it a 10 plus. Uh, Chimay Grand Reserve. Great beer. This cost me $16 in the bottle. Um, you, you might think that's a little bit expensive, but it's worth it. If you really want a nice beer, uh, session ability is high. Very good. So 10 out of 10 for Chimay Grand Reserve. Thanks for watching another G. Hallera beer review. I'll see you in the next one and cheers.